Oh, great. Now I have you flushing the commode. I had you flushing the commode. Now I gotta start. How's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back. So today I'm just going to talk to you about um, three different products. Kind of, it's going to be like a little mini review. Just talk about the products that I just recently purchased and just kind of just give my thoughts on them. Really, first of all, if you notice the clarity and the great um, whatever with the um, with my camera, uh, Christine Lee. Christine Lee, yeah, 321. I'm starting to think. Um, she has a channel here on YouTube, um, and she, her and I have been subscribed to each other for a very long time, probably from the get go, from since I've started YouTube. So we've been subscribed to each other and watched each other for quite a few years now. So, anyway, she had reached out to me and had mentioned about, um, or asked me about my camera and all that kind of stuff, and. I've always been using my laptop webcam, which is obviously they're not always the greatest. And I couldn't believe it because like she messaged me and she said she had a webcam and it's a Logitech webcam that I have here that I'm filming right now. Um, it's not my laptop anymore. It's an actual webcam. And um, so she had said about she was going to send it to me, give me your, give me my address. And I thought, okay, well, you know, I just wondered how much she'd want for it. And she, she didn't want anything for it. I couldn't believe that. I mean, like, Christine, you don't know how much I appreciate this. I mean, very much, very, very, very much. And I would like you guys to go ahead and go check her channel out and share some love and support, you know, and then, like I've always known like by watching her videos that she's a very caring person. I could always tell that anyway from her videos and just I guess in some ways it shouldn't have blown me away but it still did. So and it touched me very much and it was really I just I thought it was just above and beyond and I just I want to thank you. So thank you very much and um, I hope I can do some other kind of repay for you for being so so wonderful. So, um, but please guys go check her out. I'll put a link down to her channel and, um, go ahead and check her out. She does a little bit of, uh, beauty. She does her planner. She does some vlogs, car vlogs, and all the different things. She does a little bit of everything. So go ahead and join her and check her out. So the first thing I'm going to go ahead and talk about, so this is the Maybelline Velvet Foundation. It's soft matte hydrating foundation. Mine's a number 20 classic ivory, and that is what I have on right now. Um, the only scary thing is you can see my scarring and my imperfections that I've always told you guys about, so that's a little scary. But anyway, um, but it will help for you guys to see how things perform, obviously. I mean, you know, we're not perfect. We don't have perfect skin, so, um, well, maybe some do. Some do have some pretty good skin. But anyway, um... So yeah, I wore this yesterday and today so far. Like, I'm not big on matte foundations. I'm just not, I'm not really big on them. And the reason why I'm not is because like, you know, as I have acne scarring. I did have acne problems back in the day when I was younger and everything. But now as I'm getting in my forties and stuff, I'm noticing, you know, my, my skin's like more combination to dry. All right, so this foundation here, I had worn the last couple days. Yesterday when I put it on, I did notice it attached to my dry patches, which I did try to, because we're really having some hardcore cold weather going on here. But I noticed it attached to my dry patches. I was a little mm, with it. Um, this is of a mousse texture, which right there, we'll put a little bit there and you can see the texture and it does kind of remind me of the Amazonian clay foundation 
when it goes on. See how well it goes on my hand because I just put moisturizer on there. There it is on my hand, which there it don't look too bad, but I just moisturized my hand, but I moisturized my face too today. So I would say the coverage is medium to full coverage. It is supposed to be of a gel, I believe it says somewhere. So like a gel whipped foundation is what they're calling it. And that's probably why for the hydration and everything. As it settles in and everything, it does dry, to, I would say, to a powder. Like it goes from the gel mousse to the powder, like instead of liquid to powder. It goes more to that. And it doesn't feel, it doesn't feel heavy on, it doesn't feel heavy on at all. Um, it's not like one of the ones where you really fully notice that you have um, foundation on. So I have had it on for a while now. The one thing I notice is it still does kind of, it still kind of settles into some areas. Um, I did put um, two coats on. I don't normally like doing that, but I did put two coats on. Um, I, I don't know. I'm not, I'm just going to say I'm not really feeling it with this one. I do have the Fit Me Dewy Smooth and I do have the Better Skin. I like those ones much better than this one here. Last couple days, like I did use a brush yesterday and I used my fingers today. I have not used a sponge. I will try the sponge probably tomorrow to kind of see what I think with the whole sponge thing. I am going to put this on my blog also and it will be like a full on review on my blog. So if you want to know more, I am going to put a full on review on my blog about this foundation. I, I'm just not really feeling it quite right now. Um, it's okay. I did put the Maybelline uh, Illuminating Blur uh, Primer on because I figured that might do something. I'm, I'm just not feeling it, but it, it's okay. So I'm just... I'm going to give it a 5 out of a 10. So in between, it's in between for me. It's just okay. But I don't, unless it does something remarkable with the sponge, I don't think I'm going to repurchase this. I'll use it and that's it. Um, the next thing is what I have on my lips right now. And it is actually one of the Revlon Ultra HD Matte, um, one of these matte, uh, lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, and it's like all the hype. I mean, everybody, I swear, everybody, every company you could think of has these liquid lipsticks. So anyway, I picked one up. I didn't get a whole bunch of colors. I just picked one. I usually do that. Like if there's lipsticks, unless I'm kind of familiar with it or once in a while I'll go a little bit nuts and get like four colors or something. But usually I just get one to get a feel of the item itself for lips and stuff. I don't want to spend all that money. And as much as these are, I think like actually the foundation, I believe was $8.99.95. I got mine at Target. And I believe this was like eight something also or $7.99 or $7.95. I got this at Target. We went shopping and went to Target. So I don't want to spend all that kind of money and get like four or five of them and then discover, oh my God, this is crap. You know? So I got one of these and I have it on my lips right now. Um, I'm not sure what color this is though, unfortunately. These do not leave you with the color. So this one here is kind of in the mauve family, pinky brown, mauve color, that's what I would say. Um, first of all, when I opened it and smell it, it has to me, to me, this is what it reminds me of. It's kind of a funky smell. It reminds me of cherry cough syrup. That's what it reminds me of. I know that sounds off the wall, kind of crazy, but that's what it reminds me of a little bit. But it doesn't linger forever. You just smell it when you're applying. So if you can deal with that, you know. I do like the doe foot applicator. When I'm holding it uh, sideways, there's sideways. It's flat. And then I'm gonna, this is like the front and back kind of thing. It's it's also flat. And I like it because it get it can get precise, like you can line with it around your lips. 
you know, like use the front tip here and just line around your lips. I really like these kind of applicators. These are really nice. So I liked that. Um, when you do put it on, is it is of a mousse texture. I will put, there's the shade right there. And it's really pretty. As you can see, there's a shine. Um, now, mine's dry to matte now. I hear some people saying that they didn't dry to matte, that it still it stays kind of velvet uh, like this, you know, kind of a shine to it and velvet. I think what it is is it's going to depend on how heavy of a layer you put on. My, I did put two layers on, but I waited in between. I think you're best putting on a very light layer on, let it dry, do another layer and let it dry if you want to, you know, intensify it a little bit more. You don't really have to. I think one layer alone is good enough, but, you know, it's just up to you. Um, the, as you can see, they're very pigmented. This one's really pretty pigmented. Um, and I, I really like this. This is from Revlon and I really liked this product. So I, I actually would give this product, I would actually give this product probably a nine. I didn't give the full on 10 because of the scent. Only reason why I'm not going to give it the full on 10 because the scent is a little, but I, I can handle it. I'm, I'm a big girl. I can handle it. It doesn't, you know, fully put me like where I'm never going to buy anymore. So I am definitely going to get some more shades um, in this product here and it does stain uh, and this is the kind of mat I like. I don't like I don't like the flat mats too much like on the lips or anything. Um, I don't know. I just I'm impressed. So I like this and I will purchase more colors. Okay the next thing so many people have been doing so many reviews on the Urban Decay Urban Decay Gwyneth Stefani. This is the eyeshadow palette. And of course, you've probably seen it many times. The beautiful shades in there. Um, you have a lot of neutrals. You have some colors down around here. And you got some mattes. I have about four or five mattes in here. Um, I think this black blackout is a matte. The rest are all more like shimmer and some glitter to it. I I love this palette. I really love this palette. I have used it so much since I've gotten it. And I got it right when it, I think I got it right when it came out. But I do notice there's mixed reviews on here. You know, some love it, some don't like it. Some, you know, feel like the shades are all the same. If you're uncertain on it, um, definitely the best way to, I think, because I've done this myself. So I, I would say see it in person and kind of take um, take a look at it and go from there with it. I think this is a wonderful palette. First of all, I love I love the packaging. I really do. I like this retro-y kind of a package kind of thing going on. Um, it is... It is thick, which you can see my fingerprints. Unfortunately, that's one thing. It doesn't bother me. Some people might be like, oh, but you know, there's, as you can see, my fingerprints are all over it. So that tells you how much I've been showing this thing some love. But yeah, like it, it's thick and everything, but it, I feel it's small enough still that you can take it with you. I mean, it's thick, but it's still small enough. It does have the um, nice closure like this, you know, like where you can just and it does have a really nice, and I don't want to blind you guys, but hello, but there, it's a nice big mirror and it stays up too. It's one of the ones where it stays up. So if you want to set it, set it somewhere and do your makeup and whatever and have it set in somewhere, it's going to do that for you. Like if you're traveling or anything. And I think this is great for the person that loves their neutrals, but maybe wants to make a little more extra of a jump out there, like that might want to try some color, try some pop of color, um, want something a little bit different besides with their neutrals or anything like that. One of the shades in here, I'm not like, it's kind of disappointing, like this pink shade, for instance, this pink shade right here. And I have heard other people say the same thing. So, um, 
is for one, it doesn't feel smooth as the others. You can feel the uh, glitter and the grittiness or something or whatever you want to call it. Um, and there, I, I did swipe it in there, my finger, oh my goodness, right there it is. But I can't feel the same thing in pop. It feels the same as, the pink color, by the way, is called uh, Hairuki, Hairuki, or however you say that. It's from her Japanese whatever line that she does with her make, or her um, cologne, them little Hayuki or Hayuki, whatever. But um, right there it is. And... It has the same gritty feel as the pink one does. My favorite out of all these is 1987. Oh my word, guys. Feels buttery, buttery smooth. And right there it is. I mean, right there it is. Whoops. Right there. My other favorite shade is Punk, which is like this matte shade right there. It's of a burgundy brown shade. Oh my goodness, it's gorgeous. Now I do have that on with the gold 1987 mixed in with. That's what I have on my eyes right now. I don't know how well you're seeing it, but that's what I have on. Look at that. How crazy intense is that? Of that shade that's crazy I think it is a really great palette I really do if you are someone that really appreciates and loves your neutral colors and you want something that's gonna have that pop of color definitely that would be a good one to go for so anyway beauties thanks so much for joining me I really appreciate it I hope this you found this somewhat helpful and if you did enjoy the video please give it a thumbs up I'd appreciate that that helped me out a lot and get my videos out there. If you are not subscribed to my channel, you can go ahead and click the subscribe button down below and join me each week. And as always, beauties, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, y'all take care. I will see you then. Bye, everybody. I love y'all.